let's try to understand what is the geometrical interpretation of this rolle's theorem in differential calculus the rolle's theorem is if a function fx is such that fx is continuous in the close interval ab and second point is f dash x exist for every point in the open interval ab we write this open interval either in this form or in this form okay this f dash x means the function fx is differentiable and the third point is if fa equals to fb then there exist at least one value of x say for example c where c is lies between a and b such that f dash c equals to 0 let's try to understand the geometrical interpretation of these statements basically the geometrical interpretation is that the curve representing the graph of the function f must have a tangent parallel to the x axis at least at one point between a and b means for example this is our curve and there exists two points a and b and it have a tangent at point c okay for example this is your point c then this f must have a tangent parallel to the x axis means when the slope is zero the tangent parallel to x axis means that slope of a tangent at point the c is zero in other words that any real value differentiable function that attains two distinct points must have at least one stationary point somewhere between a and b that is a point where the first derivative is zero for example if we have a curve like this where f a equals to f b then at this point the tangent will be parallel to the x axis means slope will be zero for example if we have a graph of this different shape then we have more than one tangent there may exist more than one tangent where which are parallel to the x axis between a and sorry this a and this or what the term derivative means is derivative is nothing or derivation is nothing but it is used to find the slope of the tangent line of the graph of that function okay your derivative is nothing but the slope of the tangent line 